Well, a new bank rate survey finds more than half of millions who bought a home in this competitive market regret it. Many say they spent too much and felt pressure to buy something they didn't love. For more on avoiding this buyer's remorse, we bring in Jennifer Wahab, HAR Chair Collect. Good morning to you. We loved having you guys come in from HAR because you have so much information to share with us. How can you avoid having buyer's remorse in this hot housing market? Well, right now, the advice that we're giving to buyers is you really need to make a list of your top priorities, things that you want in a home. There's not a lot of inventory right now. You might have to compromise on a few things, but there are certain things if schools are your top priority, if the neighborhood really matters. Do you really want that in-home office? Pick your top items, and if you can find a home that checks those top four to five boxes, then the odds are you won't have buyer's remorse later on. Oh, that is good to know. Now, what about those who say, you know what, I really overspent? How can you avoid that? A lot of people tend to just focus on sales price when they're making an offer. And we like to tell our clients, there are a lot of ways that you can make your offer more attractive without necessarily just raising the price up and up and up. There are closing dates that might matter to the seller. There are contingencies. You could offer the seller a lease back. There are things in there that can make your offer more competitive without necessarily just spending more money. Well, when you finally pick out what you think might be your dream home, how important is that home inspection? Since we are in such a competitive market right now, we are seeing some people waive their rights to inspections. I really don't recommend that. You are making a very large financial purchase. And while it's competitive and you may not have as much power to negotiate with the seller on repairs, you still want to know exactly what you're getting. And that home inspection will let you know before you make that purchase. So you can't just close your eyes and just kind of look <laughs> away. We got to face this. So let's say, unfortunately, something really bad shows up in that home inspection, when do you consider just walking away and saying it just wasn't meant to be? You know, every home is gonna need some repairs, but what we are usually looking for are major structural or safety issues. If there are th those come up in the inspection report or items that are gonna cost a lot of money to fix, that might be when you wanna consider moving on to another house. All right, many in that new survey listed bad location as one of their regrets, and we know a lot of times it does come down to location, location, location. Mm -hmm. How many times have we heard that? How should you really go about putting that factor into look looking for a house? Look, there are a lot of things you can change about a house. There are whole TV networks, you know, dedicated to showing you can fix paint and fixtures and flooring. But one thing you can never change about a home is its location. So really take that into consideration whenever you're making your purchase and make sure you are in an area you want to be in. A lot of the other stuff can be changed later on. All right, so let's talk about any advice you might be able to share with our viewers for people who may have a limited budget but need to buy a home right now. This can be tough right now because we're seeing people coming from out of state, try, you know, handing over cash. It can be hard to really get the home that you want because of the competition right now. Yes, and that's why I really recommend working with a realtor who can help you navigate this very competitive market. But some of my tips would be, first of all, don't look at homes that are at the very top of your budget. Leave yourself a little bit of room because we are seeing homes sell for over asking price. Leave yourself some cushion so if you need to go up a little bit, then you can. And then I also have been letting people know there are programs out there your realtor can tell you about that can help you. Um, some of them will give you a loan up front so you can actually make a cash offer on a home, which makes your offer really competitive. So get with your realtor and help let them give you the tips and tricks to help you get a home in this very hot market. Oh, yes. Now, let's, let's try to end this on a positive note. We talked about half of the people being pretty upset and have buyer's remorse. How about the other half? Are they pretty thrilled about what they ended up with from what you're hearing? Exactly. Right now, especially when it, we're in a multiple offer situation, when our buyers get that home, they are ecstatic. And I still like to remind people, I know it's crazy and competitive right now, but a home is a great long-term financial asset. If you hold on to it for several years, you are hopefully going to make money on that, on that purchase one day. And it's where you live. It's where you get to come home to every night. So we want to help you get in a home that you love, and hopefully in the end, it's going to work out well for you. That sounds reassuring as well as welcoming, Jennifer. Thank you for taking time today. You're always such a a great expert from HAR. Good to talk to you again. Thanks.